SEC play, I know you. everybody says you try to prepare the same for every game, but I think SEC is kind of a different animal. Just, Xavier, maybe you can take this first. And then, Jaden, what, 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 what's the mindset this week as you get ready for that SEC opener? Uh, really just, you know, it's SEC play. So, um, you know, we ready for it and we know it's, it's, it's a grown man ball. Um, like you said, SEC play, you know, we know what to expect. Everybody know what to expect. So it's, it's big boy ball. Um, yo, so like we are coming in straight into the ball, just, uh, making sure all hats is to the ball, running, running around, making plays and just. Being around the ball, that's all we that's all we gotta do, be around the ball. And I know that you guys have played pretty well on defense overall, but I know last week, especially that first half, you know, wasn't what y'all wanted, what wasn't what the coaches wanted. Uh what what as far as bouncing back from that, do you feel good you guys will will have more of a you know, better showing like you've had most of the year? Yeah, I definitely think we will. Uh, you know, we know we didn't play to our standards and um uh, you know, we're going to have to play to our standards this week for sure. It's SEC play, so we can't go out there lackadaisical and just playing around. We got to go out there and, you know, just go out there and play, play ball hard. And from the first snap to the last snap. Exactly what he said. We just got to come out uh, playing from the uh, first quarter to the end of the game. So it's zeros on the clock. And uh, don't worry about no score. Uh, just embrace the atmosphere. Come ready to yeah. play. I may have a couple more. I'll turn it back to Oliver. Thanks. Trey, go ahead. Yeah, just for both you guys, Auburn's got a new starting quarterback. I was wondering what you thought about what you've seen from Hank Brown. Uh, I think he's a great player. You know, um, he's a young player, but he's a great player. He he earned his he earned his role. So, you know what I mean? Like he earned that spot. So I don't, you know, I, I respect all all opponents and you know, I'm excited to go out there and play against them. Um, I, feel the same. I think he's a great player. Um, he's on the field for a reason. So we're going to prepare for him like we prepare for anybody else that's had any type of uh, career starts in the past. So we ready. Yeah. Um, Jay, no, it's for, for you specifically, last year you guys didn't play very well against Auburn. And I was wondering, what do you think all went behind that? And is there any extra motivation from, from the way the game went last year uh, going out there this year? Um, you know, we um we didn't play as well. Uh, we, but uh, we coming back. We um didn't like the taste that uh, was left in our mouth uh, after that. So, yeah, we just coming back ready, hard, right, ready to go, ready to go. Thanks, guys. Tom, go ahead. Yeah, guys. Uh, the the teaching points from last week. What would you say, Jaden? Were the things that you guys didn't didn't do that maybe you had done in the first couple games? Um, I say we didn't start as fast. Uh, like uh. Sorry said earlier, we was lackadaisical. Um, we just got to come out starting fast, ready to go. And, and Xavier, what did you guys pick up from last week's tape that you got to you got to clean up if you're gonna you know slow an Auburn team? Um, you know, really just you know do do our job, do what we do. Um, you know, what I mean, I feel like uh. Yeah, really just do our job, do what we do. You know, it's about us. I feel like it's about us, what we do on defense. And, you know, as long as we focus on what we do and get better at what we do, um, we'll be good. Coach T. Well, obviously played there, coach there. Are y'all getting any sense that, you know, he's pretty excited to go back to his uh, his alma mater and where, where he played? Uh, no, nah, not really. But, you know, obviously I, I know he I know he's probably crunk and hype, but he's not really showing it. You know, he's training like a – a regular game, um, like every other game. You know, it's an important game. Every game is an important game. Uh, last week was important. Every week's important. So, I know Coach Tua, he's treating it like a important game. You know what I mean? We, we of course, as players, you know, we know he's from there. So, we want to – we kind of want to play – we feel it for him. You know what I mean? We feel it for him. So, we want to go out there and play hard for our coach. We know he's from there. He's, he coached there. Um and he probably, he probably still got a lot of friends and you know a lot of relationships there. So you know he wanna he wanna do good. So we wanna do good for him. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. No, no. I, I was gonna ask you what you think. Uh, I was just gonna say the same. Uh, even though uh, he ain't showing as much that he amped up, I'm amped up for him. Um, you know we didn't get the outcome that we wanted last year for him. So that's um a main thing for us as a defense, just playing our brand of ball and you know coming out with a win for him. 
All right, Jaden. I'm not sure about the time and when you came back in 2020, 22, but did you make it to the Auburn game in 22? I did. I did. Okay. Y'all have won there. What did it take to get to get a win on on the planes? Oh, you know, just playing, playing at a high level, playing our brand of ball, and just playing together. You know, uh, everybody coming together and just wanting to win. You know, wanting it for the team, the fans. You know, just that right there. All right, thanks, guys. I would just go ahead. Either one of you or both. Uh, guys, last week, tackling wasn't very good on Saturday, and Coach Pittman blamed it on the green shirts and just not getting to be physical during practice. Have you got to ta work on tackling some this week? Uh, yes, sir. Actually, um, for today's example, we started practicing with tackling circuits, so – um, everybody got tackling circuits, and the coaches, they really been emphasizing it this week. Um, if a player don't thud how, how the coaches wanted to be thud, they'll start it over. Um, so things like that, they really emphasize it this week, I would say. Dayton, last year, Q Freeze said after the game to somebody, I don't, some reporter, that they could have scored every time they had the ball. Does that stick in your mind? I mean, are you guys keep that in your mind this year? Uh, I don't really pay pay too much attention to that. Uh, I didn't really know that until you just said that. So, I guess we'll just have to see about it. <laughs> okay. Hey, thanks, guys. Thanks for your time. Jackson. Xavier, you, you've played at Auburn, too, right? You you played there last year. Is that right? Yes, sir. You know, Sam Sam said that he's noticed some teams in the buildup, you know, to this week have had some trouble with communication just in their home field environment. What is it about maybe that Auburn Stadium and, uh, you know, what is what's your experience there like last year? Um, no, I feel like they just they, – they fans real into it. Um, and they, they fans impact the game, definitely. Um, they get real loud in there. And if, if I'm not mistaken, the student section is right behind the opponent's bench. So I think that played a played a little factor, and it's it's just loud. It's a lot of people. I don't know how many uh, people fit in there, but there's a lot of people in there, so it'd be loud. It'd be loud. And for both you guys, I know the start wasn't so great last week, but you know you, the defense played pretty well in the second half. What did you guys maybe clean up in the second half? And is there anything that you guys did then that you know or you're you need to replicate this week against Auburn? Um. I say as a defense, uh, we just, like we said earlier, uh, we wasn't just dialed in as a defense to play at uh, our standard of football the first half, I would say. Um, I would say maybe we took them lightly, but I wouldn't necessarily say that. So I'm just going to say we wasn't playing our brand of football. And in the second half, we just got back to our script. And I say – same with JJ, like our mindset, you know, our mindset just wasn't where it needed to be at. Um, that's really it, just our mindset. Thanks, guys. Yep. Uh, wrap it up now. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I know you guys obviously are on defense and, and Carmona's on, on offense, but I was wondering how, how well have you guys gotten to know him and what do you think he adds as obviously as an offensive tackle, but also he seems like he has a real – outgoing personality and um, fun-loving guy. Kind of what, what's he add to the team, you know, physically and then, I don't know, mo emotionally or whatever you want to call it? Uh, I'll say just the brotherly love. Like, when I first – we both came in together. And, you know, when I first got here, I didn't have a vehicle. And I rode with Kamon a couple times. He dropped me off at home. And, you know, we just chopped it up and built our relationship. And, uh just his, his – how he leads, how he leads. You know, that's what I noticed a lot, how he leads and the type of person he is, you know. Uh, I just love the way he carries himself, not only on the field but off the field. Um, Like, positive dude all the time. Um, Like, leadership is out the roof. Great guy on the field, physical. Um, You know, that he bringing that swagger to the field, and I like that, and I feel like that's something that's helped the O-line. And then, you, you know, Jade, obviously Arkansas, and, and I know there aren't divisions anymore, but Arkansas and Auburn were West rivals for 30-something years. And Zayman, I know Georgia doesn't have much love loss for Auburn, uh, big rivals along, along with, with uh, uh, you know, the the, the other rivals. with, with Maybe Georgia's biggest rival outside of Tech, I don't know. But kind of, what's it like playing, going over there to Auburn, but you're with a different team? Do you still dislike them just as much as you did when you were at Georgia? Uh, I mean, 
Yeah, our goal is to win, you know what I mean? So, you know, I'm with a different team, and uh, a lot of players was on the team last year, and they got a bad taste in their mouth. So I got a bad taste in my mouth, too, because these are my brothers. So you know, I feel how they felt last year, honestly. So, you know. Okay. Well, hey, I appreciate it. Is, 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 is Carmona a good driver? Oh, yeah, he's a good driver. He's from out west. Yes, sir. <laughs>